Hello my loves. Today we are talking about my favorites for the month of July. These are all products I have been loving all month long. So if you want to see what my July favorites are, just keep watching. Now this month I feel like I don't have as many favorites as I usually do. I don't know if it's that I'm trying less products or the products that I use this month just didn't wow me. But whenever I do favorites videos, these are products that I am using constantly. These are not products that, you know, I may have used once and it was okay. These are products that I am loving that I think you guys will really love as well. So that being said, I may have less favorites for the month, but they're all things that I have really been using a lot and loving. So PB wanted to say hi to everybody and remind you to hit that red subscribe button down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more peanut and more favorites videos. Also hit the bell notification if you wanna be notified every time I upload. Let's start off with skincare. So this is a brand that I talked about in my recent PR haul. If you missed that video, I will leave it linked in the iCurds. This is the Face and Neck Serum from The Cure Apothecary. And this brand is based right here in Nova Scotia. I have been absolutely loving this serum. If you have dry skin or dull skin and you're looking for something to give your skin a glow, try this serum. It is made from all natural ingredients and I wake up in the morning really seeing a difference in my skin and it's still glowing when I wake up. So I apply this at night and when I wake up in the morning, my skin has a beautiful glow. The next skincare item I have to talk about is from Summer Fridays. Now, I've had this mask for a while, but I actually forgot about it, which tends to happen quite a bit when you're testing out new products all the time. So I forgot about the overtime mask and I forgot how much I really liked it. So I've been trying this again lately and using it. And this smells exactly like a pumpkin spice latte in a mask form. So it's really amazing and it reminds me of the fall. It's a very comforting scent and I find it really brightens up my skin after I use it. And it's also not too harsh as well. This is kind of a random product, but it's always very difficult to find natural deodorants that actually work. I've been using natural deodorants for at least six months now and there are some I love and some that don't work at all. Now this one from Zion Health, I think that's how you say it. This is the clay dry aluminum free deodorant. This is amazing. This works really, really well. It has a very light scent, but nothing overpowering. And I have been using this every day and really liking it. So if you're looking to switch over to natural deodorants, definitely try this one. If you're liking my makeup look today, I just filmed a video testing Juvia's Place makeup where we created this look. So I will leave that video linked in the iCards and definitely go check it out. But finish this video first and go check it out after. Please. Next up, this will be no surprise to you if you've been watching my videos or following me on Instagram. These are the nails that I've been wearing all the time. These are from an Etsy seller called A Little Sunshine on Etsy. I will leave her Etsy page linked down below along with links to all of these products. So she is based in Toronto here in Canada. She is an esthetician that started doing custom nail sets that you can purchase on Etsy. So I have been wearing these a ton. I'm not wearing them right now, but I thought I would show you some of the new sets I picked up. So this one is pink with butterflies. This one is a nude matte nail. And then these are beautiful white with sparkles. She also has the guide on her Etsy page, which will show you how to size your nails so that you're getting the right sizes. And this length is the medium coffin length that I ordered just for reference. I also do have a code. Of course, she was kind enough to give me a code for you guys. So I will leave it up on the screen. It is code JS approved and that will get you 15% off all the nails on her Etsy page. Now this is a product I cannot believe works as well as it does. So I am always the first person to buy the latest brow product, whether it's brow wax, brow gel, brow tint. 
Now, I saw makeup by Cheryl here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. I love watching her videos. She is a fellow Canadian YouTuber. She was talking about this got to be glue, which she uses for her brows. Now, whoever thought of this, I think Cheryl got the idea from someone else, but whoever thought of this, you are a genius. This gel works better for eyebrows than 90% of the brow products I've tried. And also, think about how long this will last you because you're only using it on your brows. So I just take a little tiny bit on a spoolie and comb it through my brows. And you can find this on Amazon. I think it's about $5. I will leave the link down below. Keep in mind, anything that I mention from Amazon is likely on my Amazon storefront. So you can always find my Amazon favorites there as well. Next, let's talk about some makeup products. So this is the Just a Tint. I don't know what to call this. It's a tinted lip balm, but it has quite a bit of pigment. So I would say it's a cross between a lipstick and a tinted balm. These are from ColourPop. This is not a new product, but it took me a while to actually try these out. I have a few shades and I really have been loving them. They're super comfortable on the lips and they give you a beautiful wash of color. This is in the shade Chubby Bunny and it's a beautiful pink shade. Another lip product is this tinted lip balm from Lana Lips. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel before, but I've definitely worn it in videos. So this is a tinted balm that's also really hydrating and nourishing on the lips. And this is in the shade Rose. They have a few different shades and I have them all and they're all amazing. Next up, we have the primer infused blushes from e.l.f. If you've been watching my videos this month, I used these a lot in my videos. If you haven't seen my video testing drugstore makeup, definitely check that one out as well. You know, just, just watch all my old videos. Just watch all my other videos. I'm totally okay with that after you're done this one. So this is in the shade Always Cheery. It's a beautiful coral color. And this is the shimmer version. So they have primer infused blush, just plain, and then they have a shimmer version as well. It doesn't have a ton of shimmer in it, but it does give a beautiful sheen to the cheeks. Next up, I have this brow product from MAC. Now, this is a brow product that has powder on one end, which I don't use, but I do use the marker tip. Now, this is the perfect marker for doing faux freckles. I did order the brand new freckle pen from ColourPop, which I will be reviewing as soon as it does arrive. But in the meantime, I've been using this. So this is in the shade Fling. It's the Shape and Shade Brow Tint. Next up, I have the Fenty. I always forget the name of this. Next up, I have the Fenty Slip Shine Sheer Lipstick in the shade Glaze. It's definitely seen better days because I have been using it quite a bit. Again, this is a beautiful lightweight formula for summer. I did try this out in one of my recent videos and really liked it. I'm thinking about picking up another shade. So if you have a shade of this you love, definitely let me know in the comments. This is another product that I tried out in my Sephora video. This is the Velour Liner and Lash Adhesive in One. If you watch that video, you saw how amazed I was at how easy it was for me to put on my lashes. I'm not someone who's really great at putting on false lashes and this stuff made it so easy. I did go ahead and already buy the full size of this. The last thing I wanna talk about is a bath bomb. This is from Nikki Sticky Botanicals. This is a CBD bath bomb with 300 milligrams of CBD in it. I have been taking CBD baths I wanna say for almost a year now, if not longer. CBD baths are amazing for anxiety, for stress, for pain you're feeling. Make sure if you do take a CBD bath that you stay in for at least 30 minutes to feel the full effects. I've been using Nikki Sticky Bath Bombs constantly, but I wanted to make sure I did mention them in this favorites video. So you can get the full size bath bomb, which is this one. This is in Coconut Beach. It smells like delicious coconut, like a tropical vacation. You can also get mini bath bombs of hers. So they each have 50 milligrams of CBD and you get five mini bath bombs in a bag for $30. So if you're new to CBD baths and you just wanna try them out, that's a really great option. She is only taking orders through DM right now on Instagram, but I will leave that link down below. Low. You can also use code JSAPPROVED for a free gift with any Nikki Sticky order as well. Okay, my love, so those are all my favorites for the month of July. I would love to hear what your favorites were for the month, so definitely let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.